Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And welcome back, everyone. We're going to talk today about massage. Actually pick up from where we left off with this gentleman. He's got a wellness center in Florida. It's called Creating Change. We started talking about massage last time. Today, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the benefits how you can get the most out of a massage and also something called cranial cranial sacral therapy. Mark Hayward is back. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Hey, Steve. Great. How are you feeling today? Fantastic. Yeah, it's great to have you back here. And now we skimmed, we hit a bunch of different points within massage last time we got together. That's one of the things you offer in many different levels, therapeutic and, and sports and all of that. Um, but let's boil it down to the basics as well. What what are the, the true benefits of massage? Uh, sure. Um, well, any massage, good or bad, is going to be therapeutic, you know, an activity. Um, you know, we're made up of 12 body systems, the human body, and all of them intertwine and kind of react with each other to really keep us as optimally healthy as possible. But they all rely, every cell in our body relies on this flow, right? The circulation, they're bringing nutrients and they're taking away wastes. Without that flow, cells die. Any impedance to that flow, the cell is not functionally optimal. So that's I probably at its foundation, that's the main benefit to getting massage therapy. Things like movement, exercise, how it keeps flowing. Well, massage is probably the most specific uh, therapy or activity that you can do to stimulate that flow. And especially if you have um, any known dysfunction going on in a certain areas of your body, they can be targeted with the therapist. And now we're breaking, but it's basically all we're doing is we're breaking stuff up to allow for that flow of, of blood, the lymphatic system just to keep things moving. And, and, and in essence, we're walking um, circulatory systems. So that's probably the main benefit, the, uh, the real essential benefit. Of course, many people have the idea that it's relaxing and they're going just to be relaxed because it is relaxing, right? Huge benefit, um, especially, you know, in today's kind of fast paced society, being able to just go somewhere and just, you know, zone out for an hour or so is pretty therapeutic in itself. So, you know, the um, specific style of techniques can really stimulate what's called the relaxed response, more technically the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of the sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight um, reaction that we tend to be in quite often. So it's crucial for that nervous system to be balanced. Many times I work with a lot of folks come in and it becomes obvious that their automatic nervous system is imbalanced. There's just, even though they're on the table and they're in a relaxed sort of physical state, underlining that nervous system is not letting go. So there's, there's thick layers of tension. There's the inability of completely relaxing. Um, and it becomes obvious with the touch so for those uh, recipients, getting more regular massages would be something that will help stimulate that balance. And it's crucial because one can only be on at, at a given time. They can't both be on. So if you're in, not in a relaxed response, you're in a, you know, in a stress fight or flight response. That's how they work. It's kind of a toggle back and forth. We need that stress response, right? It's a survival mechanism. But in the relaxed response is where we're in a state of balance. It's where the healing properties of our body can function properly. They cannot function in the stress response. The stress response is to allow us to deal with some sort of external stress that's happening or even an internal stress. So we need that. But when that stress is gone, we need the relaxed response. So if you're not in that state of balance, um, for you know any substantial length of time, your body is, has really challenged to heal. So if you're dealing with any kind of issues, um, specifically autoimmune issues, uh, digestive issues, uh, skin issues, 
this is usually due to the fact that you're, you're, you're imbalanced. So massage is something that you can do on a regular basis to create that balance along with other, you know, self-healing activities. Wow. You know, and on that. I learned a lot ahead, right there. Learned a lot. You know, the, the toggle yeah. between the, the relaxed state and the stressed state, and also just have the visual of, we got to keep it moving in terms of our bodies. So circulation, we breathe. Yeah. yeah. Waste. Yes. You know, all of that. Yes. It's always, there's, it's got to be the continuous movement. Stagnation um, is the enemy, man. Stagnation is the enemy. <laughs> in all ways, even mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's a huge benefit. And, um, you know, to expand on that, um, regular massage is really the key. Um, targeted massage, chronic issues, you know, treatment plans are very important and they can definitely get you in a nice, more manageable position if you're dealing with some conditions. And in, in, in my case, a lot of my clients, they come with me with an issue, right? And we, we get a treatment plan and we get them in, in the best possible managing position along with other modalities and other practitioners that we can possibly do, right? But they tend to, because now they feel good, they want to continue. So they get on some sort of maintenance schedule. And that's where the real benefits are. Because again, we, we, we have that flow, that continuous flow. The body is functioning, you know, the, the pistons are firing all well. Sure. So what tends to happen is if anything does come along, let's say an accident, a fall, or I don't know, an illness or something, they recover so much quicker because the body is, is now, you know, is optimally working in an optimal, you know, condition. So the benefit is really on getting it on a regular basis. You know, some folks still consider it a luxury. You know, they get it once in a while, maybe on a cruise or somebody buys them a gift certificate. Some people just come in when they feel they need it. They just need an extra pampering or so. And that's all great. I mean, there's room for all of that. But the true benefits come is when you have some sort of, you know, body work on a regular basis along with some other movements like exercise. And so now you're really... You know, putting yourself in a, in, a, in a good, foundationally strong, healthy place. All that being said, we, we also see the benefits in other areas. For example, if things are moving within our body, lymphatic fluids, all of that, like even your skin, do you think if you're on a regular, yeah, all everything, I'm talking about everything, you just, you know, look better, feel better, all of that. Yes, everything. Um I remember I had this one elderly lady who came to me with um, sciatica, pretty bad sciatica. And uh, she's seen some doctors and stuff, but it, it wasn't getting any better. They didn't want to do any, she wasn't a candidate for surgery. So I worked with her on a weekly basis and it took about six to eight sessions and it, it went away. She was no longer in pain. She was able to walk and do her thing, but she came in, she had these circulation issues in her legs and she was seeing doctors for that. They were doing all kinds of vein stuff, but I mean, her feet were purple, oh, yeah. you know? And she had these massive spider clusters on her legs. That was kind of a secondary condition. And she was saying, oh, I'm seeing somebody, but you don't have to work on that. Of course, I'm like, okay, we'll, 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 we'll do some light. We'll take care of your static. We'll, we'll, we're not going to not touch your legs, okay? We didn't notice. She, she was feeling so good. She kept coming. She kept coming on a weekly basis. And uh, just a fantastic client. And um, about a few months in, we, I just noticed. It just happened so gradually. And I'm looking at her feet, and they were completely normal. And I remember I had taken pictures prior you know, because like, you might have to take a picture of because they were so, you know, in, you know, extreme. And we looked at the pictures and we were both amazed. So the circulation wow. increased to a point where it completely flushed out her legs. And now she had normal looking legs. So, yeah, it's just amazing what the body can do if you, you know, give it a little help and sometimes get out of its way. You know? It's I, I, as I learn in my journey, it's about the balance. Things have to be balanced, you know, from here to your body to to everything, you know, and that also includes, you know, proper sleep, eating the right kind of stuff, not too much alcohol. The more and more I see about that, you know, not good for yeah. the body. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, so it's, a, it's, it's a lesson. We, we learn these lessons along the way. How do we get the 
the most out of a massage experience. Any thoughts on that? Sure. Yes. Um, good question. I believe that, again, we touched on this in the first show. Intention is huge part of it. Okay. How do you walk into your session? Are you bringing in, you know, the stress of your day? Are you have some expectations that you're going to lay on this table and everything's going to go away? You know, what are you bringing to the, to the massage? I think it's important. And I've actually, um, I'm getting ready to compulate an email series that I sent out to my clients. I'm going to put it in a blog of exactly how to op optimize your massage therapy. But I'm an advocate for clearing, you know, clearing yourself before you get into space. I even do have a clearing process that I do for the room in between clients um, just to clear the space. So I think first and foremost, when you, when you approach your, your therapist, you know, place where you go, try to leave your default mode at the door. You walk in and also as an additive, add in the intention of I'm coming here for healing or I'm coming here for balance or I'm coming here to uh, give my body what it needs. Some sort of feel good intention and you know just spend a few moments with that. That's huge. You get on a table, now you're, in a, you're already in a good receptive mode. Also, hydration is huge. Uh, a lot of therapists and, and recipients know that, you know, drink water afterwards, but it's really water beforehand that's more beneficial. Drinking water afterwards help, but you want to come in hydrated. You don't want to hydrate afterwards unless you've had a really traumatic or intense session. Then, yeah, and if, and if you're dehydrated, yes, drink water. But drinking water before your session, wow. you know, an hour within the hour before, um, it's huge benefit on your therapy. Uh, I can feel it. I can feel people and I'm like, hey, did you drink any water today? I'm like, no, I haven't drank water. Well, yeah, well, it shows you're very sticky. Things aren't moving the way we would like, as opposed to those who I can tell you drank some good water today, didn't you? So yeah, everything's moving. What wonderful. And the session is just way more uh, effective. I touched about regular massage. Muscle memory is a real thing. You know, um, it takes a while to create change, pun intended, um, within the body. You know, one and done is just very rare, very rare. You know, sometimes depending on the, the length of time your injury or your restrictions has been created and your ability to flow, it can take usually typically a few sessions to create a sustainable change within the tissue. The definition of massage therapy is uh, re-education of the muscle tissue. So mm. sometimes you, know, you have to pack in a few sessions and then you can spread them out. So that's, I think, a concept that people um, really need to understand is you, 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 gotta, you gotta get in there and you gotta build on the previous session if your goal is to create a sustainable change. Wow. Those okay. are some big benefits or ways to optimize your sessions. When you think of it this way, you go to school, you don't just go once. You're repeatedly going for a reason. So interesting. Sure. Um, the other thing sure. that you offer is something called cranial sacral therapy. What exactly is that? Yeah. Wild therapy. You know, um, I've been trained by the up ledger for level one. And um, I kind of got into that. I was guided towards that. I had a, a peer and a mentor individually suggested that I get into that through our discussions, you know, my question. They're like, you know, maybe you should look into this stuff. And I heard about it. I did not learn it in, in my training. Um, I did, a, you know, I did a little outline research on it. And uh, it seemed like such a different modality that I was almost like, yeah, I can't take on anything more. But somehow I was guided towards it. So I took a less, I took with Up Ledger level one training. It was, it was just a wonderful class. And um, it has begun to transform my work as a therapist. The cranial sacral system is somewhat a whole separate system, right? It's the components are your, your brain, the spinal cord the sacrum bone um, and the 
nerve endings, the structures of the nerve endings that leave the spinal cord. So not, not your brain, your whole skull, sorry. Those are the components of the system. And they have what they call a closed hydraulic system. So there's a fluid that bathes this. And those are basically the, also the components of your central nervous system, which as you can understand, controls everything. Your central nervous system is the nerves that tells everything what to do and when to do it. So it's pretty important stuff here. The cerebral spinal fluid is the fluid that bathes the system. It's like the blood of the central nervous system. It's this amazing pristine liquid that's made out of your blood. It's like your blood being ultra filtered. And now you've got this pristine fluid flowing through this system that gets produced and filtered on a certain pulse or a certain movement. It gets produced and when it gets too much, there's sensors in it and tells it, okay, shut down and it filters out. So it's a constant flow of this fluid being continuously nurtured. And in, and, and in secondary, it's nurturing your nervous system. So it's this foundational system and cranial sacral therapy, what we do as therapists is we're doing manipulation, just like massage therapy, our goal is to break up restrictions. Any restrictions, as you can imagine, on that system is going to cause some sort of dysfunction or impedance of whatever that area functionality is for your body. So our job is to attempt to break up any restrictions to allow for flow. Again, it's all about flow. And we work with the, the sacral bone. Uh, we do movements with the spinal cord. We do myofascial movements to release uh, fascial restrictions all the way through the system. And about half of it is working with the cranial uh, bone plates, specifically manipulating or holding or releasing the tiny sutras between these plates. These plates move. They're not, you know, they're not stoned in. There's a movement that correlates with the movement of the producing and the filtering of the cerebral spinal fluid. So it's this really subtle touch. It's got to be subtle. It almost feels like nothing's happening, but you're really focused, intensely focused, and your part of your focus is to be as light a touch as possible. In school, they train you with a nickel. They put a nickel in your hand. You say, you feel that? That's the pressure you want to be putting. It's so light. It's ridiculous. And again, you have to apply some sort of intention. It's almost like you, we talk to the system. We're talking to the bone that we're moving, what we're holding. And we're like, okay, I'm going to hold you as light as I possibly can. And I'm going to ask you nicely to release. And it releases. It's a crazy system. It's a crazy modality. And uh, I've had some pretty amazing uh, effects. I've seen pretty transforming uh, effects from some of the clients. And um, it's still something that I'm diving into. And there's so much more to learn. But for me, I truly believe it's a foundational therapy for well-being. Mm. If, it's, if your cranial sacral system is stuck, there's so many things that could go wrong or could at least not be working at it as best as it could. So getting your system as, as loose as possible, and that also takes a few sessions. And once you get it flowing, it kind of holds. So it's not like, oh my God, we got to do this forever. But you, you do still have to go on some sort of maintenance because things make it stuck again. And it could be anything from a physical trauma to emotional trauma. Interesting part of it in school, they told us in the training, they, they, they kept uh, repeating, we're not, this is not energy work. They kept saying that. I'm like, good, because I don't know anything about energy work. There's definitely an energy component to this stuff. You know, of course, yeah. you mentioned the last time it's energy, and we know that now it's scientifically proven. But so there is a pretty considerate energy exchange or releasing that happens. In fact, in the further studies, level two and further in this training, there are specific trainings on somatic emotional releases, um, energy uh, blockages, how to release that. So there's definitely an energetic component to this therapy. 
Yeah, mm. it's pretty incredible. You, you you mentioned that they tell you it's not energy, but even as you started, it, you you said it's almost there's an intent that's put in. There's something put in your energy going into the the work. And I said last time I, I had I may have had one of those massages. I'm not even sure, but the light <laughs> touch. What a difference that made. Like we're all used to, you know, get in there, you know, deep massage, get in. You don't need to. Um, yeah. When you talked about the fluid and everything, the vision I got was like the oil in a car where, you know, if you have dirty oil, the car's not going to run. That's why, you have, yeah, we need to change the oil. Yeah. But yeah. it almost sounds like we, we're – we're cleansing the oil by moving, you know, the oil being the fluid within it almost sets a visual I got. Would it kind of be like that? In a sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. The cool part though, you know, in comparison to a car is it cleans itself. The fluid is constantly being cleaned. You're getting yeah. fresh. Fluid. It's being made in your, in your head, through your blood. It's absorbing the blood and it has its own, Incredible processing filtering system, some crazy osmosis stuff. Uh, and now it gets pumped into your cranial sacral system as clean as possibly can be. And it gets used. So there's a constant cleaning of the fluid. Unlike your car, you got to go change all of it out, right? Right. This, everything is flowing properly. Sure. Takes care of it. Yeah. That's kind of where I was going with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Or it should, we, we have internal filters. Um, well, I guess you have an oil filter in your car as well. You know, we'll kind of look at it that way too. Um, Mark, sure. tell us now you're, you're centered in the um, Florida area. Tell us where and how somebody can contact you um, or if they have questions, no matter where they are. Sure. Well, they can always call me 727-519-786. Always available at that number. Um, the website, creatingchangellc.com, um, is a good way of contacting me through the contact page. Uh, my email, uh, creatingchangemark at gmail, um, is another way. That's pretty much the best ways to contact me. And yeah, I'm based out of Largo, Central Florida, and Tampa Bay area. Um, yep. Yeah. Thank you for all the insight today. Learned a lot, a lot, a lot of how this all works, the benefits of massage, not a sales tactic when we say you have to consistently go if you want to see the, the maximum results. Yeah, I, I saw my lines when I, you know, when I, I'm all about educating. Sure. Um, I'm like, look, I'm not trying to sell you, you know, my schedule's full. I'm just for your own benefit. Yeah. You may want to, you may want to, you know, come in more than two, three times a year. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, when you get that that gift certificate. Uh, thanks yeah. so much for being here, and uh, we'll catch up next time. Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day. You Bye -bye. too. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's 
it's gonna be okay.